Well, it's a good thing that we've got this side of the cavern sealed off, because right here is an arachna. That is a giant cave spider. This is an air-breathing celeserat arthropod that has a shape of a woman with long, slimy, and hairy, sharp legs of a spider protruding from its body. It dwells in deep caves where it weaves a thick web to trap its victims. So for now, unless it can shoot web from the, onto the ceiling and swing over our wall here, or somehow grow wings, or actually be a spider and climb over the wall, we should be safe. Let's see, what else do we have? Just the arachna. Other, other than that, they gave us goats for wild animals. So we got a handful of goats and a dash of arachna. Um, I do have all the dwarves named. I'm just going to scroll through real quick. This will also be a reference for me later so I can match up last names. But there's everyone. No one's special yet. No one's done anything. I haven't even assigned any of them to the military or jobs. I just saw that arachna there and wanted to show you guys my fear. So it's six late mid-spring. And um, I'm still trying to get the migrants adjusted to their new home. Well, and Master Fancy Pants has claimed a metalsmith's forge. He's one of the migrants who just arrived. And we'll let him go ahead and create his artifact. That's really the only thing going on. Um, him creating the artifact and me shaping the area down here a little bit. Gonna have a small cafe set up down here. Um, they'll probably be have the barracks actually in this room right here. Or at least their beds. That way the soldiers can train out here. And any creatures that try to pass through up to our um, spiral staircase will have to hopefully pass through the training military first. Um, I'm gonna have a pier here for the fishermen. It'll extend out over the water. And hopefully, um, they'll be able to use that. I'll set up s some, um, whatever it is, some zones that designate it. Hurry up and finish these walls, you slackers. Yep, and other, bes other than that, there's not really a whole lot going on. I'm going to put some workshops down here. And I think, I think that right here, this rock pillar, on this floor, I'm going to channel this out. And this is where our next spiral downward stairwell is going to be. We'll s ramp out. We'll channel out this way and have a hallway, and then we'll can start going down, spiraling. You'll see it once I um, start building it. We'll see what he needs. Pictures of stacked leather. I don't have any leather. Pictures of shining bars of metal. Don't have any. Um, smelter. Actually, we do have copper ore. Wood furnace. Yeah. I do have the butchers set up. Have they butchered that horse yet? No, they haven't butchered the horse. I think that something is wrong with butchering, honestly. I cannot get them to butcher animals. Um, so I'll see what I can do about getting him some leather. I might, might need to throw a horse down a large shaft or something, get it to explode once it hits the ground. I don't know if that would get it to us. Can I have the military kill this horse? Kill the horse, we need leather. Tanner shop, can't do anything there. Nope, so we'll see. Um, unfortunately, Master Fancy Pants, you might go crazy if I can't get any leather. Cross our fingers, maybe we'll get some merchants to show up. It's currently 17th slate, mid-spring. Uh, we have a population of 36, and I am really currently just waiting on Master Fancy Pants to go crazy. Catfish takes off after the skeletal turkeys that have arrived are just on cue. It's skeletal zombie turkey season, and they're chasing our war dogs around right now. Catfish goes round and round with one of them. Don't lead him back home, war dog. He leads him to the refuse pile. Catfish sees his dog in need, and dives on top of the skeleton, ripping it in half. Its rotten carcass falls into, onto the ground, a clump of nothingness, and the dog dodges it. Dodges into the pond and then jumps out of the pond. Good boy. So that's all that's going on right now. It is 7th Fell Site, late spring. And our military is just dealing with the occasional undead that pop up. Two more, two more turkeys. You turkeys stay on the other side of the river. Um, I think the blood pit 
I don't, I don't know how good it's gonna work. It looks like they're tracking blood up and out of it afterwards. So, this may turn into a, a blood spreader as well, unfortunately. I don't know. We'll see. Dusk Elf Rufa has arrived. An elven caravan from Rollerilla Lori has arrived. Hopefully they've brought us something good. Let's see our friends, the Dusk Elves, arrive. They brought a bison. I don't know. They've brought armed guards, and that's good enough for me. Looks like the diplomat is being attacked by the zombie turkey and he punches it in the face it falls to the ground worthless turkeys can't even kill and ambush a diplomat master fancy pants is still trying to die over here we do have Dion it looks like he is hauling all the dead bodies that he can find and I, I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing why I can't get them to butcher live animals I've got both of those horses set for slaughter and I even put a poor puppy for slaughter just to test it and they won't take them, they'll only take dead animals. So, unless we can get some leather from these guys in time, Master Fancy Pants from the Dusk Elves, your, your days are numbered here. Let's see, we will move goods over there. Where's the finished goods bins at? Trading, how about... There we go. So we'll bring those over there, and we will get, hopefully, our broker, Rar, over there. And we'll start doing some business with these friendly Dusk Elves. March through our water and wipe your feet. Try not to trail any blood in here. Okay, well, let's see what our little friends here have to trade. I think, um... I'm not sure. I don't want to give them the buckets, my bins, because... I want to keep my bins, I don't have to make more, and I don't want to end up selling them that rope on accident. I'm going to need those ropes for a well soon, I think. Or at least for, um... For a traction table. I'm pretty sure traction tables take... Take tables and ropes and mechanisms. So only 440 dwarf bucks. Let's see what we can get for it. I will pick up just a little bit of glass. Just in case somebody needs that for a mood. And actually what I wanted to get was leather for our friend Master Fancy Pants over there. Show me your leather bins. Seeing some of my butcher shop's not working. Trade for... I want to trade for a couple of leather bins. They're cheap. It'll give them um, a reason to like us and hopefully bring us some badass pets next time. And I think that'll be it. Are you willing to make 90 dwarf bucks? Oh, wonderful. Thank you for your business. Yep, so I'll keep the bins. I'll keep those ropes. And that's good. We didn't get much this season from the traders. At least not yet. It's 20th fell site, late spring. And yep, there goes Master Fancy Pants. He begins a mysterious construction with the leather, leather piece we just bought for him. Um, so we'll see what artifact he creates and see what fun this year brings. We have our first artifact, Master Fancy Pants, our weaponsmith, has created SR2 Ma'am, a copper mace. Let's get a better look at that. It's valued at one, um, no, 18,960 dwarf bucks, not too bad. This is a copper mace. All crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is studded with copper and encircled with bands of muskox leather. It is called the Circumstantial Moral. We will assign that to someone in our military, and I do have two squads now. We have the first squad, the Tall Tours, and the second squad, Razors of Talking. Uh, split the military in two, so Master Azra leads the second one, and Catfish leads the first one. If for some reason the squad leader dies or get injured, any of the subordinates with the highest skill, I'll move them to the top of the list. That is how we will determine squad leadership. As the fortress grows, we'll also um, branch out into larger squads and more squads probably as well. The uniforms they have, they all have metal armor, even though there's not uh, metal armor for everybody yet. 
eventually there will be. So far it's just the two squad leaders that have it. And I'm gonna see, I'm just gonna let them choose their own weapons for now. Catfish, you are actually running around without a weapon. So let's get that as a specific weapon. And I think you were supposed to have the first copper short sword. But you know what, forget it, you're the leader. Let's give you a SAR two man. You can go ahead and have the artifact copper mace, even though you don't have any mace skill. It's never too late to pick up a new skill, though, Catfish. So I think we'll let you go ahead and do that. Everyone else can grab gear. I'll probably also throw up a, a leather workshop soon and start making some leather armor for them. I'm not sure. Have we already traded with these merchants? I just got done doing the Voltron Army community game my turn there, so I'm not sure where I'm at on my fort here. God, the blood, it's everywhere. And this is going to be the um, wash pit that leads into the hospital. Do we have people wounded already? Metal Slime Hunt, you're not wounded. Okay, you guys aren't wounded, you're just sleeping in there. Let's see, down here in the caverns, we'll zoom there. The barracks is getting built, there's the cafe. Uh, the bedroom, where all the beds and coffers will be for the military. For at least this squad down here. The Razors of Talking will be stationed down here in the caverns. This is going to be our large underground farm area. If you can see what I've got mapped out here, this is all to be channeled down. And this will be a raised up level above it. So when you're walking around, you'll be peering down onto this level, which is where our muddy farms will be by the time I'm done. Because right here, I'm going to put two screw pumps. And I um, might need to build something here. I've never actually used screw pumps before. So this fort, I'm going to be experimenting with a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be experimenting with screw pumps, with floodgates, with windmills and gears and mechanisms. I've never really used any of that stuff before, so we're going to find out exactly how bad I can screw it up. But my plan is to put screw pumps here, maybe just one, and then to turn it on and to flood this place with water. Once that's flooded, I'll let it evaporate, and then I'll move all the farming down here, or at least a good portion of it. I'll probably leave um, one or two farmers up top to feed the military and the gate guards that are going to live up there. I'm probably going to pull a lot of the workshops down here for now. And it is summertime. Wonderful. Change of music to the hot summer music. I don't think I have any other projects going on, though, besides those. That little farm there. Um, I don't have anything being built down here. I was going to flood this lower basin out and farm down there, but I don't think it's safe. It's um, open to attack. What are you doing, Master Azra? He's going to pick up equipment. He just picked up a whole bunch of stuff. He just scooped up all the gear that was there. Switched into copper. He's got all his copper gear on. Arachna silk gear. Well, do you have a weapon? Copper short sword, yep. So no idea what you scooped up there. Maybe you're taking it somewhere. Taking it over there, wash it off in the water, perhaps. Oh, yeah, I've got people trying to make soap. I better, I better just cancel that job. Let's see. Go to the manager. I can't pause the work order. Um, so I'm just going to remove it. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to butcher anything yet. And let's see. I don't have the option to rend fat either. So I'll probably turn some of these new migrants that arrived actually into into hunters and hopefully they'll go hunt some of the animals out there. Right now it's just the pigeons and the merchants. A bird which likes cliffs, rocks, and walls. They travel in packs and eat everything they can find in trash piles. Well it is second Hematite early summer and we're just expanding the fort underground and getting our military trained. 